Hello, welcome to Let's Play Hearts and Arena with our pretty s weird warrior deck. It's not a common warrior deck, it's actually a legendary warrior deck because we have uh, two Sylvanas Windrunners, a Deadwing, uh, Gorhal obviously is only epic, but even then. Uh, so we're actually a late game warrior deck who wants to control the early game. Uh, we have to do that, we have true. Two of the three one with divine shields. We have two crotus masters. We have knife juggler stuff like that. Uh, two executes elven archer against the druid again. Um, the last round of our previous game was against the druid and we did win that though. So um, actually want to mulligan all of these. Like I don't think they're good enough. Like Sylvanas obviously is a nuts card, but um, you want early game cards here. And the more you mulligan, the more odds you have in getting those. This, on the other hand, is pretty shitty. Uh, no 2-drop, uh, pretty bad 3-drop, pretty decent 4-drop at that, and then, yeah, at 5, we obviously get there, but... Uh, that's a bit late in the game, especially against a Druid. So it doesn't play anything, I think we call not, this on turn 2 now. Uh, whatever he plays here, we can trade up. Yeah, we can trade up. Unless he has a silence or whatever, but even then, this is actually pretty decent because um, if you combine these two or something or this with another creature, that gives a charge. Uh, Warson Commander, actually, really like. It's obviously a supportive card, but um, if your opponent can't deal with it, you're usually win the game, <laughs> just because it's so sick. <laughs> Our only loss came against the Warlock Aggro deck. Um, Warlock Aggro, man, so good. Pew, there it goes. What does he have here? Oh, he has, an, uh, he has one of his own. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I assume his play will be to kill that. The question is can I play around that being a 2 for 1? Nope. I have to do this. If he has a swipe, he has a swipe and I'm pretty screwed. Um, but I don't think there was an easy way to play around that. If he doesn't kill this, which he should, like he should instantly kill this, like not even doubt in his mind. I can Brewmaster. If he has a swipe, he should obviously swipe. But I think the the more obvious play is, uh, that that I can see, of course, is attack this hero power, attack this, and then next turn if I play this, he can um, attack it and hero power it. And if he then has like a three two to team up with it, yeah, uh, obviously want to draw a cruel taskmaster to kill this off. That for me would be the best draw. Uh, my hand is loaded with late game cards. So red, okay, that's also a decent play, I guess. Uh, not the play I would have made, as I said earlier, but I think it's fine. It's not a bad play, because it draws you a card. Kills the creature, draws a card. Um, hmm. Do I want to just kill this off like that? Nah, we'll see what he has. Uh, I can probably heroic strike something better. Uh, next turn, Arcanite Reaper. <laughs> then six turn attack with it again. Then Gorhal, and that should win the game. If it doesn't, I have that win. Uh, my early game was pretty shitty though. But I mean, Arcanite Reaper will get rid of most of his five drops. Uh, not the four, the four six. Uh, won't get rid of that. And that actually will be an issue. Like if he has the Druid of the Claw here, that's gonna be the best thing he could ever play. And I consider it to be a high pick in Druids, in Druid decks. Like it's a really good card, especially because Silence. Doesn't work on it as it should. 
I do understand the mechanics that people say, yeah, it's a totally different card, it's a 4 6 on its own. Yeah, but uh, if there's a similar card and that works entirely different, then something is wrong with your game, bro. Uh, my opponent isn't doing anything here. Okay. So I did manage to throw it all out there. Which is fine. So double red uh, puts him in a good spot, but we have, well, five and a half cards to his six. Uh, next turn we can charge. Wow! <laughs> or we can yak or whatever. Uh, the fact that we can protect this with this seems pretty good. He already used two red, so the odds of him being able to kill the Warson Commander is pretty low. I think red is a really good card. Like it's it's a frostbolt or a mortal call. Uh, obviously frostbolt freezes, but uh, usually that effect isn't. Like I rather have the option between being able to ping something off and draw a card because I really love a uh, card draw, especially in uh, a game where card draw is so little and so uh, important that you have a card advantage that I'd rather have the option than that than if, let's say, I freeze a creature of my opponent, especially with a mage ability. Uh, so yeah, 4-6 as I said, uh, it's pretty good here, there. Uh, we can heroic strike that down, which I guess we will. Then play 2-3 taunt. Just because it stops his 2-1. Uh, next turn we have Gorhal. So we're 5 cards to his 6 now. But his 2-1 is pretty shitty. Uh, next turn we can also play this by the way. Uh, so we can get rid of any 5. But as I said, Druidal Claw. Uh, he obviously recently drew that. Else he should have played it earlier. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. And it's a druid, so um, his late game should be really sick. But so is mine. Uh, if he does it in that order, it seems like a mistake. Because he's going to take extra damage here. Uh, it's a mistake I made with my rogue dick earlier as well. <laughs> that, that I did in the wrong order. And it was actually the exact same um, creatures. Um... No, I'm gonna run out of town there. The reason for that is he now has to attack this. He has to show what he has here. Uh, we're still uh, down the card, but I think with the Rally Weapon Smith, the Gorhal, the Dead Wing, uh, we'll be able to get back into this. Like, generate a card advantage. He obviously generated the card advantage with the rats that he had and the previous Scarlet Crusader. I also I always want to call it the Divine Crusader. But he has to get through the 3 5 first, uh, which he apparently can. Okay then. Uh, nothing I could do, do about that. Like, he ha if he has it, he has it, then he had it. So, whatever. So, yeah, more card advantage for him, huh? Uh, Cruel Taskmaster is pretty good here. We are gonna attack with the weapon because, you know, gold hauling in hand, no use to not attack with it. Uh, Cruel Taskmaster killing of that. Yeah, probably better than the other way around. Probably could have played this, made it a 5-2. That wouldn't have been bad either. I just attack that. Well, I take 3 extra damage and I think with the Coral Howl I want to be as high high amount of life as possible. Uh, Coral Howl into Deadwing is really strong. Like, Coral Howl armor up. Attack, 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 attack. Uh, he either overloads the board side Deadwing or he doesn't overload the board and Coral Howl wins the game. And I think as a Druid it's not that easy to get rid of Deadwing. Um, okay. Okay. 
so the play here obviously is uh, take that take that now nah. play the goal how to take that take him he didn't attack something uh, so he has four cards uh, I think I want to run out of Sylvanas here but the problem is if he kills it I'm not getting any value out of it so I don't want to but Kohal just isn't that great either here I have to do something I can play Gohal and not attack nah that just seems bad at least wanna attack him here for two put on some pressure but yeah my hand has epics now uh, Deadwing, Sylvanas, Kohal in play uh, I think at this point I should be able to take over the game even though his 5-5 five five is really good here um, but it automatically trades with these Unless he has removal for one of these, of course. At this point, if you consider it and Gohal being able to trade with at least one other creature, he has a one card advantage over me. Uh, because kill... Um, like, I if you consider this to be even... Okay, if you consider this to be even, Gohal trades with one, um, which isn't that, of course. Man, that card, so annoying. It's a pretty good draw here. So Gorhal still in play, Sylvanas in play, and a dead wing in hand uh, to his five cards. And he just played an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, if he plays another 8-8, eight eight, I can steal it with Sylvanas. If he has a starfall, he can obviously kill it, but he already used one. Uh, any creature with 5 toughness is going to die to the Gohal. Any creature with higher toughness is probably going to kill Savannah's and I'm going to steal it. So it doesn't have great amount of options here. Mm, but I already drew like 3 of my strong cards. Uh, Dead wing, yeah, this is just going to sit in my hand. Because I actually don't want to cast it most of the time. What is his plan though? Um, okay, it's fine. Uh, I no longer have a bounce for it. Question is, do I want to use Gorhal for it? I, I think I do. Just keep a 5-5 five five around. 16 cards to 13. Yeah, see, he drew 3 cards more than me. Um, just because of the rats and stuff like that. That's why he has three more cards in hand, I mean. Uh, three, three taunts. So, attack like that then. He should hero power attack me, of course. It's not a bad card. Um. Yeah, I'd rather have the two, four. Uh, good question though. Yeah, I'd rather have the two for a round. Uh, so now Sylvanas is generating us card advantage. Even if he trades here. Uh, the reason I didn't attack that is because his 2-4 could attack this. And then it would be 2-1 uh, and how do I deal with it without losing creature. Um, because my Sylvanas would be a 5-2. Uh, that would just be bad. Uh, in this case, he can obviously trade with the Sylvanas with his 3 3, but then I have a 3 1 in play and the Gore Hall. Uh, still a dead winning hand, obviously, still don't want to use it. And he is running out of cards. Like, uh, he has how many cards I have to deal with? 15 here. Demolisher is pretty good, but it is gonna die. That on the other hand is gonna kill this one. It's not that bad here. 
Maybe I wanna run out to that wing here. He only has one card. Dark Iron Dwarf would cost would die. Uh obviously wanna attack. Yeah, I'll run out that wing here, I don't care. I could just do a 2 for 2, and I have a 12 12 in play. I don't see a druid dealing with this. They only have one card that deals with this, which is naturalized, and even then it draws me two cards. Uh, it's not a highly highly drafted card and the 12 12 is pretty shitty to do with um, in general especially when it's backed up by a girl hall I provide two turn clock the card is sick like you obviously don't want to play it in constructed I guess because as you see you want to play it as late as possible uh, here it was just a 2 for 2 but you have a 12 12 in play uh, the drawback isn't that big of a drawback sometimes, especially not that late in the game when it only costs 10 mana. He's looking for ways out, but I don't think he has them. Yeah, that's just gonna die here. Uh, the question is, do I want to kill this or this? I think this and then kill this. Or do I want to go for him? No, I can't go for him. Well, I can, but I can now. Top deck town, baby. Uh, six five towns protects everything. Yeah, I think even if um, if I didn't draw this, I still had to attack him because these provide lethal. Uh, that's not gonna change anything. I guess well played, but um, it's just yeah on the back of not cards. Like I obviously think my opponent's deck or the way he drafted seemed better um, his deck seems more consistent and seems uh, better card wise but I mean you can't help it if your opponent has like six stuff like this uh, combined with a Sylvanas actually two Sylvanas but he doesn't know about that there's nothing he could have done here um, sadly enough for him of course because I think his deck isn't that bad so we go up to 5-1, we'll continue here, uh, looking for the 9-1, but I'll be happy with the 7 wins or 8 wins. Um, even though I think my deck is strong, I'm not s making excuses here and saying like, yeah, 7 wins with this deck is good. No, 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 it's a really good deck, I mean, um, as soon as we get into the late game, we win, and our early game isn't that bad either, we drafted enough of early game cards to stop uh, your opponent's aggression. Only the Warlock we lost against because he had the answer to the Deadwing uh, in Big Game Hunter. A Warrior uh, might be a tough match. Um, I think we want to mulligan all of them. Scarlet Crusader is pretty good, but we have another one which we can draw. Uh, but we actually want two drops here. As I said, we have another one that we can draw. The fact that we did not draw a two drop is going to make this really hard for me. Uh, especially as I have no weapons here. Um, he doesn't coin anything out, which is really good for me. Uh, we draw Sylvanas, which is also really good. So 3, 4, 5, 6. Be uh, all good bad beaters. Uh, he shouldn't attack with that and he doesn't. But I mean, Scarlet Crusader is going to be value. Um, yeah, he just value. He can have a Taskmaster here. Or whatever. What does he have? Yeti, huh? Question is, how do we deal with a Yeti? How do we deal with a Yeti? Okay. Um, seems weird to do so. At least in that order. Uh, we obviously want to run out this there and see what he does about this. 
and then run out Sylvanas, and run out Lord of the Arena, then run out Wars and Commander into Dark Iron Dwarf, or into Corcoran Elite. Uh, that's a good one, assuming it hits it, it doesn't. So that's just being apologetic, blah, 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 apologetic towards your opponent because uh, it's a bit, a bit of bad luck that he gets something like that. It could easily have hit my creature and then it would be fine. Uh, Brewmaster here, huh? I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to run out Sylvanas to trade for two. Is there another play possible? I can play the Warsome Commander, which will trade with one of these, but I don't think that's great. Um, Sylvanas here obviously isn't great either. Like it runs into an, into an Arcanite Reaper, uh, but he can't do that. Because then I steal one of his creatures. It can trade with both of his creatures here, or if he pumps this. Um, okay, he just he's just gonna trade both here, right? No, he's not. Okay then. That seems weird. Wow, what a draw. Uh. So we save our Sylvanos thanks to the top deck there, uh, we're at 25, we're getting into the late game against the Warrior which usually is good. Uh, we have a strong hand here, we have board advantage, so this game is looking good, especially that next turn I can play the Warsong uh, Commander if need be. Uh, he should trade here but he doesn't, he really wants the aggression huh? He's gonna lose this. Um, let's think about this. Yeah, we can take care of everything. And he knows about the Sylvanas in our hand, so that usually isn't that great. Uh, we're six against six here. Um, so we're even on cards, which is meant I got a card advantage somewhere, seeing that he was on draw. Uh, and especially seeing that he had a weapon, uh, usually means that's really good for me. We can Heroic Strike plus play a 6-5 with haste. A cleave here would be fine, uh, don't care about that that much. Do care about that, uh, because it is a good card. question is, how do I deal with this? We can kill that with a this and just ignore that. Yeah, okay. Uh, next turn we actually have eight haste, so even if we get rid of two, we still win. Um, obviously we can also play both of these and have 9 but he first have to get have to get rid of these creatures uh, and the fact that he didn't do that last turn probably means he can't do it this turn either oh well again or he at least has uh, better options here this is still 10 damage so we still need to weigh out The fact that I have an extra 8 haste isn't going to make it easy. Okay. Yeah, this game is over. Um, heroic Strike, Elite. <laughs> Second Sylvanas. So yeah, uh, end the game with two Sylvanas in your hands. Yay! Full charge, just what I wanted. 6-1, let's keep on going here. We want... what do we want? 9 wins, so 3 more games. You always want 9 wins. Um, mage, we haven't played a mage yet. It's a rogue. We haven't played a rogue yet either. 
Uh, they usually have a really strong early game, so... Um, we actually got a pretty good hand against that. Like, Elven Archer stops something like Cone Defies Bandits pretty better. Murloc Tide Hunter is pretty good. Tarn Warrior ain't that good, but it's a 1 2 3 drop, so I'm fine with this. And, like, if you mulligan, what do we hope to get? That's that's basically the question you gotta ask. If you mulligan this hand, what do you wanna get? And usually it can be better than this, so. Uh, if he plays like a ringleader, I play Tide Hunter, I guess. Uh, we still play Tide Hunter here. Because combined with Elven Archer, it will take care of a lot of cards. Uh, I think his best play is coin into uh, the SI agent to kill this. I guess that's decent because it's going to draw him two cards. Um, yeah, can't do much about that. Nothing I could do about that. So he has deadly poison. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does. So yeah, um, as I said, he's gonna draw two cards over of this. Not much I can do about that. Uh, we don't wanna run that out there, do we? We just want to run out the 3-3 three three that he has to attack here, just so our wars and commander won't die to it later. But it just generated an insane card advantage. That's fine. Uh, it's gonna die to the Reaper. That's just a shit card, so whatever. Um. Yeah, I still want to Reaper it up. Obviously, these now uh, in combination can kill an insane amount of creatures. Um, and the dead wing in our hand is just dead. Like, it's a dead wing. It dies to an abyss rate. So we can't just instantly play it and hope it wins. But I mean. Oh, wow, that's a really good one. So. Whew, we kill that. Play commander. Kill that shit. And attack that. And pass the turn. So pass the turn with a 2 dream play against 7 cards against of my opponent. Uh, my hand is pretty shitty against a big amount of cards. Especially a card like that, but that's not gonna matter. Like the divine shield isn't gonna matter. That's what I mean. Um, hmm. Can play this or the other way around, I guess. Interesting. Uh, we can play this, pump it, and kill it, or we can play all of these. I think we wanna. It's gonna kill whatever, right? It's probably gonna trade with it. Is there a way not to die to this? Not having this to die? Yeah, but then this does die. Uh, but that's fine. No, it's not, not possible because I have to deal the damage to this. So, I have to do it like this. So we give this plus we kill this nah, I'd rather have the fortry here uh, the problem with this is that this is a uh, like, I, c I think this is stronger than the 4-4 four four. the problem is that he is more likely to get rid of this or he wanted to get rid of this, this anyway so Whatever. Um, the fact that that is a 4-6 isn't gonna make a huge difference because um, 
We're gonna have issues with that no matter what. Uh, Sylvanas has haste, so whatever. Sylvanas attack attack. Okay. At least then it's against an empty board. Uh, I'm gonna do it like this because um, he can obviously dagger and attack this or just attack this. Uh, but then we have these. Um, he should dagger attack this and attack this. But then he goes down to 6. Uh, so first attack this and then dagger attack this of course. And the fact that he still hasn't used a single of his raids scares me to play Deadwing. But as I said, Deadwing is just like uh, a desperation play. If you need to. He has an Earthen Ring Farce here, here, I guess. Oh no. So there's there's a first assassinate. Uh, which is great for me because now uh, Deadwing just becomes that much better. Uh, as does Gorhal. So yeah, again, lethal combination here, Deadwing, Gorhal, sick bro. I don't, I don't think there's, like, even if he has such an insane card advantage, that Gorhal just generates such an insane card advantage here. Um, I might be able to kill him here even. Is he even gonna play more? Like anything that deals one damage kills him. Uh, I don't think I have any more though. No, I don't. I was thinking about it, but I don't. So he has two cards in hand. I think I just wanted that wing here. Or not. It's a 6 5 taunt. Yeah, let's make him overextend a bit more. I can probably get out another creature uh, out of my dead wing here. Yeah, so great for me to slow play that. The spellbreaker, wow. My dead wing is gonna be huge. He obviously has to kill that, but uh, and deal me five and deal me two. Wow. Yeah, that wing is gonna be sick here. As I said, that wing you want to play it as late as possible when you can. Uh, he obviously didn't have the answer there, and we go up to seven one. And I'll see you guys for the conclusion of this in the next video.